it's time for another of these ice stations products which they sent me for free in exchange for making these videos this one is high voltage generator which takes few volts in and outputs about 15 kilovolts the kit includes wires for the power supply this pretty high ratio transformer which has primary secondary and feedback bindings then there's this small heatsink and a transistor which will be attached to it this transistor doesn't have any markings so i hope i can figure out the pin out the kit also includes a diode couple of 470 ohm resistors another transistor without any markings and the hardware for attaching the heatsink to the transistor oh and there's another diode on the back it's similar to the previous one so that's all the kit includes i didn't get any instructions with this but I contacted the IC station and said that there's no instructions and they answered pretty quickly and sent me the schematic and added more information on the product page like you can see here. So here I have drawn the schematic. It is very similar to basic Joule Thief circuit. There are primary and feedback windings and this transformer has also output winding or secondary winding which Joule Thief doesn't have. The primary winding is one with thicker wire and one with the thinner wire is feedback. The dots on the schematic mark the polarity of the winding. If you think that the wire goes only one direction on the transformer, the dots can mean the starting end of the winding. And actually this dot is on the wrong side. I've made mistake drawing this schematic, it should be on this side. So end of the one winding is connected to the start of the other winding on the primary side. For example, end of the feedback winding gets connected to the start of the primary winding. I'll just twist these together. I'll solder these a little bit later. Now there's one end of the feedback free and that goes through the resistor and diode to the base of the transistor. The free end of the primary winding goes to the collector of the transistor. Positive from the power supply goes to these wires that have been connected together. And ground goes to the emitter of the transistor. And here's everything is soldered together. The pinout of the transistor appears to be the classic NPN transistor's pinout. Looking at the front of the transistor, legs pointing down, it's base collector emitter. I think this is the most common pinout of the transistors. There are others, but this is very common. It's time for a sparking test. I have 3.6 volt lithium battery, which I will use to power this circuit. And we have a spark. The arc from this transformer is up to around 5 millimeters. It depends on the power supply used, but I was able to get about 5 mm long arc. This was a fun little kit which came with some extra components. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment.